Welcome back to another 5-Minute Showcase with your host, Builder Bear. I'm Builder Bear, and your 5 minutes starts now. We're back in Warp Marceline, and we're going to see right across from the first 5-Minute Showcase build right here. We're going to look at a tattoo parlor again by Miss Anna Bananas. Bananas in pajamas are walking down the stairs. Doo -doo -doo. Again, stuck in my head. Can't help it. Um, so, really dug the interior of this thing again. It really captured what a tattoo parlor is to me. I have a lot of tattoos. If you've seen any of my pictures that have popped up on my um, Twitter, I have a tattoo sleeve. So, ooh, look at we have a visitor. So, we're going to go in here. Um, first, we do the build by Anna. Wop, wop, wop. I know tattoo places, and this is amazing and not bad. So, the outside of this whole building is actually really cool, too. It's a little bit of a darker quality. Um, and I love the wood on the first floor. The windows are spot on. Everything is spot on. Actually, I really like the windows. I like the fence post uh, as the center thing in the window. That's actually really cool. And I haven't thought about that. I have a build going on right across the street. I do not like the windows that I have in there. And I might be using, I might be stealing some inspiration from that. So very cool, very cool job. Um, what's up, El Chapo? So we're gonna go in here. And the first thing I noticed is again, the, I said it in the last video, the maps, the map tool that we have for pictures on the wall looks very, very cool. Um, really just sets the mood for the place walking in into this little waiting area. This is where you come in, you talk to the person, you'd say, hey, I'd like that too. Um, they'd be like, oh, cool, like, how old are you? Fill this out. And then you'd be filling this out and looking up at this artwork and getting some inspiration maybe for your tattoo. And then you have all these tattoo catalogs and books right there on either table. Again, very cool, very spot on. I also like the lamp design over here. It kind of, the white kind of brings in, you know, it goes with the whole vibe that um, she was going for in this waiting area. And then these little half walls kind of separate you from going back into the uh, the actual tattoo place. It's a pretty big tattoo parlor. It looks like there is spaces for six artists and then just like a good tattoo parlor, so, you know, tattoo artists are artists, and they really like to decorate their places um, as such with things that give them inspiration. So you have this person, uh, looks, I don't know, they have an eight ball and just a bunch of like bits and bobs, as the British people would say. Um, decorating their shelves. They all have different um, colors in the background that are very cool. And then they all have, you know, whatever they want. They have a little workstation right here where I'm guessing it's a computer and they do whatever drawing, whatever with the client chair. And this is actually a really cool design for the client chair as well. Um, diagonals are really hard to do in Minecraft and she's done it with these with the rails and rails is one of the only ways you can do diagonals in Minecraft. And then look at like this one actually, this brings some character into this build. This one's straight. And then this one's a diagonal and they kind of do that um all along here it looks like though i mean it looks like only the one straight but it does it adds some character like somebody who's in here maybe getting a leg piece done um on the wall it looks like maybe uh, some ink down there and i guess i'm guessing a tattoo gun right there again really hard to pull off in minecraft but somehow she actually pulled it off here so i'm really digging this uh you have curtains right here maybe for some privacy if they're doing maybe a tattoo on a place that a lot of people shouldn't be looking at. Um, or if somebody just doesn't feel comfortable with people looking at them, they can pull the curtains. So again, it really captures the essence of and the feel of, of a tattoo parlor. I love the dark stripped um, oak choice with the cobblestone features everywhere. Very, um, very good job at balancing color and um, tone and timbre. Another feature which I really like and I think we should pull some inspiration from is it looks like the ceiling is one slab dropped. Yes, it is. Um, which is really cool because by doing that she was able to anchor these really cool cobblestone lights into one like set into the ceiling which just adds like a whole different level of it. Um, I've, I've mentioned it before and how you guys actually anchor lights into the ceiling is like is everything it can actually set the mood for the build and just done a very 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 good job here um, and it works extremely well so good job 
Uh, we have nine seconds left. Let's go to the back really quick. We have a couch back here, and then just a really simple bathroom. Again, look at the glow of that end rod, which is really cool. Ooh, I'm over on time, but look at the glow of the end rod with the toilet paper on top against um, that wall. So we're out of time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Subscribe, ring the bell. Bye.